food. This will save you the need for an experiment. nothing here to take. Come on, boy. Come on. be restored. The central feeding chamber has been contaminated by bacteria. We must find a secondary source of food or we'll starve. Food from earth soil? Yes. Altered to sustain our plant life. I planted our spores in these soil samples. The prism will direct the proper spectra to support our own vegetation. Fine. But you haven't answered my question. How soon? I need the results of this test to answer your question. What will it cost us while we wait? Yeah, she was all over this guy before I knew what was happening. Well, they'll know better next time, won't they? Not gonna be a next time. I'm taking Debbie out of here. Just where the hell would you go? I've been thinking about that. I'm gonna call my mother. Your mother? You haven't talked to your mother in years. I know. She's the only family I've got. And if something happens to me, I want Debbie to know she's got some place to go. Everything's changed, Suzanne. They don't even know what the country is like anymore. All circuits are busy. Please hold. The running away ain't gonna solve the problem. I cannot remember a time when I was not running with her. Look at her with mace cans and guns. It's just not good enough. Sorry, Harrison. I can't explain it right now, Mom, but 
I want to bring Debbie to the country. Why? Some kind of trouble? Is Debbie okay? Debbie's fine. I'm asking for her. Please, Mom, it's important. Of course. Yes. I'll be there tomorrow. Mom? Essentially down in the North Field. City people looking for food. City people? More than likely. Where's Smokey? Just well, took off after a coon or some damn thing. He'll come along. Let's go. I'm beat. Come on. Jim back. Well, I guess you'll be glad to get out of here for a while. You all packed? Yes. Why don't you and Harrison come with us? Can. You could if you really wanted to. Well, we'll come visit and get preferred rice and vegetables. It's not funny, John. Why do things always have to change? They don't. Come on, your mom's waiting. Oh, Joan, I am really worried about Smokey. He has never been gone this Just long before. Just a stupid damn dog, Rebecca. You shouldn't concern yourself. Well, you have never treated it like that. I don't understand this at all. Boy, Roy! John, this is a complete waste of time. Ah, it'll be fine. It's a load of crap, and you know it. You know, you should be more positive about things. We're going to have a good year. I'm telling you. Since when? We got a bank payment past you. Where are we going to get the money? We've had bad years before. Oh, this is different. We got no equipment that works. The fields are so polluted you can't get a crop in. The banks after our mortgage. The city people are pouring out here looking for food. They're picking us clean. Oh, you're so damn pessimistic, Roy. These are the same things you've always said. I know, but we can't just give up. We've got no place to go and no money. So everything's just going to be okay. Thunder! Roy, I got an idea I'd like to talk to you about. Thunder, shut up. What's the matter with you, you crazy old hound? Come on. It grows quickly. Have you secured the greenhouse? Yes. Everything's in place, including the leader. Good. Once these plants take hold, we can extract the new spores and create more vegetation. Our food supply will increase geometrically. We are ready. Where's Roy? Looking over the new plans. What plans? We're going to expand. Fix up the old greenhouse, build a couple more. Are you crazy? John, we don't have any money. We will have. I made some new contacts, important contacts. Oh, from where? They'll be here soon to answer all your questions. They're from the government. Oh, great. When did all this happen? Why didn't you tell us? John, in case you've forgotten, this is supposed to be a cooperative. Just calm down. Listen to what they have to say, then decide for yourself. I don't want a bunch of government bureaucrats coming in here. All they want is a place that's set up so they can conduct their soil experiments. They want it all. Pretty soon we'll be working for them. That's not why we built this place. Roy won't stand for it. None of us love the idea, but what else can we do? We're hardly holding it together here. We got no money. You should have discussed this with us before. You're right. I'm sorry. 
But we don't have much choice. Joe, what's wrong? There's something you're not telling me. Everything's fine, Rebecca. I know you too well, Joe. It was time for a change. You'll see. It'll be a change for the better. Rebecca Owen. I'm sorry, madam. The area is restricted. Mister? Is, uh, is there a problem here? I'm here to see my mother. Well, you must be Suzanne. Yes, but... Uh... It's okay. They're expected. Thanks. My pleasure. turned into a pretty young lady. You look hungry, are you? Well, yeah, kind of. Good. There's food in the kitchen. Go help yourself to anything you want. Okay, honey. Grandma and I have something to talk about. She'll be getting serious about boys. Maybe you can find somebody like Danny. Mom, we made a deal. Please don't bring up the past. Things were said on both sides that shouldn't have. I was hoping that we could try to make a new start. Try to make things the way they were before. If you'll let me. All right. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Both of you. You must be Debbie. Yep. Sorry to burst in on you at such short notice. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty of room. Oh, you're gonna have fun here, Debbie. Yeah, come on. Let's get you both settled. Well, what's with the, the armed guards? Oh, the government's doing some agricultural development work. We're real excited about it. 
What are you doing with this? Mom, the city is dangerous. Is that what you're teaching her? How to shoot people? You don't understand what it's like. Come on. The girls just got here. Suzanne's got a point about the city. But she won't need that here. Why don't you put it away with my hunting rifles? How's that? Well, how about a tour of the place? Yeah. These controlled environments are too small to support our numbers for any great period of time. That's not the point. As pollutants destroy Earth's atmosphere, it becomes more like that of Morthrite. One day, you'll look across this planet, and you'll be home. And where will the humans be? Dead. What exactly are they doing? Well, they're trying to reconstitute the soil in some way, make things grow again. Sounds interesting. They told you much about it? Uh, it's classified. Classified? What the hell does that mean, John? Rebecca, I'm only telling you what they told me this morning. You've never said a word about this, John. I want them off this property. I knew this wouldn't be easy. Who's in charge of this project? I'll introduce you to him. Mr. Fox? Mr. Fox? Well, hello again. My wife's daughter, Suzanne. Paul. Oh. Suzanne has some questions I can't answer. You're uh, with the Department of Agriculture? Special Research Branch. You? I'm a microbiologist. Do you really think you can restore this soil? Well, we're gonna try. John, I want to talk to you. What's the matter? What are you hiding from me? We never had secrets before. I don't like it. I don't have any secrets. What kind of a deal have you made with those people? Rebecca, for God's sake, I trust them. Fool! You've never trusted a government man before in your life. Now all of a sudden you welcome them with open arms. You sat up with Smokey for three nights when he was sick last year. He's been gone for two days and you don't seem to care. Rebecca, you're all upset over nothing. I'm doing what I think is best for us. For the co-op. Are you? I've been researching to see how different spectra affect plant growth. Hmm. But why this one? Well, it satisfied all our requirements. Right size, right number of people. Right soil, meaning the worst we could find. If we succeed here, we can reclaim thousands of acres of dead soil. Why is this project classified? Well, look, I tell you, it's a government. <laughs>
concerned about the woman and the child. How could they know what's happening? And if they find out, we'll introduce them to our friends. Do they? Do you know much about farming? I just thought you'd like to know how they're doing, that's all. I don't care how they're doing. I care about the land and the people here, and suddenly they're all changing, and not for the better. What do you mean? Nothing, forget it. Can we never have a normal conversation? I don't know. Maybe because you don't want to. Me? I haven't seen or heard from you in how many years, Suzanne? When it's convenient, when you're in trouble, then you come find me. I came to find you a lot. But you were always too busy with whatever man you happened to take up with at the time. <laughs> Not a good day, I take it. I was a kid. Uh, she probably feels the same way. Don't even know her. Well, she didn't do too badly by her daughter. He was a psychiatrist, too. <laughs> no. It's just that all anybody can do is their best. I think maybe you should give her the benefit of the doubt. Does it mean she made the right decisions? Well, who does? The beds are ready. You can't allow anyone to interfere with this experiment. They won't. When I activate the prism, the air within the greenhouse will become poisonous to you. If you go in, you won't come out. of a childhood. I, I understand that. But you never asked me how I felt about things or why it all happened. Never asked me.
begin the expansion immediately. Harvest the mature plants for processing. And issue a directive that rations will be increased. Yes, I understand. I want you to begin selection of other agricultural units immediately. I've already attended to that. We have technicians in the same area testing for other possibilities. was life, say, 30, 40 years ago. Would have been a real farm. Can be again. construction in the morning. The area can support 20 structures. And John, I think it's time we took care of your wife. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. She's becoming quite difficult. Good morning, girls. 
when you're finished, come on out to the fields. We're putting up more greenhouses today. Oatmeal, Debbie? No, thanks. I'm gonna go find Banda. Okay, but don't get in the way. Debbie should leave today. What? Everyone's changed somehow. They're distant. They meet and talk in whispers. Mom, is everything all right between you and John? It was. Until these government people came. John is not the man he was. Last night, John got up and went out there. I followed him. He met Roy and Shirley. They were loading and unloading trucks. I overheard him tell someone that I was becoming difficult and that it was time to take care of me. Agriculture, some kind of soil conservation project. It's classified, and my mother's not sure whether it's quite legit. What does that mean? Is, is there something wrong? Just check it out. We're sorry, lines are temporarily out of service. Service will be restored as soon as possible. <laughs> systems did you reach? All the way, man. DOA has only two research projects. One in Nevada and one in Maryland. And the story. Yeah. I owe you, Scots. Don't worry, Johnny. We work something out. seems to think there's something strange going on around here. No. Why is this project classified? Look, all I can tell you is that contamination is involved and we don't want people stumbling in here. My mother says that her friends have changed. That her husband disappears in the middle of the night and she seems to think that your project has something to do with it. Come on, Suzanne. I don't even know these people. Could you talk to her? She needs a little reassurance. She thinks you're using them. Well, actually, I don't blame her. Okay, I'll do what I can.
They don't want to see her like me. I want to see what you're doing in there. I'm sorry, Rebecca, you can't. Why? Because it's none of your business. Mrs. Owen, I'm glad you could join us. Get out of my way. I'm angry. We could have had a good life.
Suzanne. Okay, I'll cover you. for the second invasion of War of the Worlds. The Eternal has spoken. We must purify this planet. Brace yourself for a more powerful race of deadly aliens. They killed more than I can't find Debbie anywhere. The team is forced to retreat underground or face extermination. We'll move among them and they'll trust us. They made a copy of me. Who will survive? Find out on the next exciting episode of War of the Worlds.